Ted Basler, our man of the year, is a big picture kind of guy. Similar to what Robert Mondavi did for California, Ted promotes the winemaking industry of the entire state of Washington, and he has a lot to work with. Washington is indeed one of the great viticultural regions of the world, blessed with a perfect climate and a superb terroir. Ted's effort goes far beyond the vineyards as well. At his alma mater, Washington State University, Ted created the Department of Viticulture and Enology. In addition to chairing the Washington Wine Commission and Wine Institute, he also was the president of the Wine Marketing Council, the beneficiary of tonight's event. After increasing his reach into Napa with Stag's Leap wine cellars and into Oregon with a Rap Vineyards, Ted set his sights abroad and was able to forge significant importer relationships with two of the world's most distinguished vintners, one with Moselle's Ernst Lucen, and the other with our Lifetime Achievement Award uh, winner, uh, Piero Antonori. With Antonori, he also created a joint venture, Cole Solari, which combines Italian winemaking art with Washington soil and science. And talk about extending his reach. Just last week, Ted inked an import deal with Wine Star recipient Villa Maria of New Zealand. Congratulations to Ted. And they are great, great wineries, you guys know. In the 20 years I've known Ted Basler, I've admired his vision, his perseverance, and his charisma. Washington may have the perfect climate, but in Ted, they also have the perfect spokesman and leader. It is an honor to be selected as Wine Enthusiast Man of the Year. And I congratulate everybody here tonight that has been selected by the Wine Enthusiast as a 2009 Wine Star. I joined Chateau Saint-Michel more than 25 years ago, and I'm proud that I've spent much of my career with wines produced in Washington State. And I'm also proud of the accomplishments of the team who has worked with me to grow St. Michelle Wine Estates from a small wine producer into one of the top 10 premium wine companies in the United States. We believe that St. Michelle Wine Estates is a different kind of wine company, one that is guided by our philosophy that quality is achieved through pursuit of innovation. This string of pearls strategy allows each estate manager ultimate decision-making authority for the unique gem under their stewardship. Their actions may be local, but the results are global. Today, our success is defined by these trusted brands which offer consumers superior quality, category innovation, and critical acclaim. St. Michelle Wine Estates portfolio has expanded strategically in recent years with initiatives like Columbia Crest's upscale H3 tier, importer rights of pedigreed brands including Tuscany's Marchese Antonori, and France's Champagne Nicolas Foyot, and acquisitions like Stag's Leap Wine Cellars, also with the Antonori family. As our business evolves, we remain committed to our intrinsic belief that exceptional vineyard sites create wines of distinction. More than seven decades ago, we were among the early pioneers to plant classic vinifera varieties and produce wines labeled as Washington. Since then, we've been advancing the region's viticultural practices, defining site and varietal suitability within the Columbia Valley's sub-ABAs, and developing sustainable business practices. Today, St. Michelle Wine Estates is Washington's largest vineyard owner. While our knowledge of the land is unparalleled, we are on a near constant exploration of how to take advantage of the terroir. Our Washington wineries source from the state's oldest and most innovative sites. Chateau St. Michel's Cold Creek Vineyard and Columbia Crest's Horse Heaven Hills Estate are leading examples. Snoqualmie is a leader in certified organic and sustainable practices. New vineyards have been planted in renowned AVAs including Koslari's Red Mountain Estate and Walla Walla's Spring Valley and North Star Estates. In California, the Stag's Leap Wine Cellars Estate is home to the SLV and Fay Vineyards. Recognized as first growth sites and as leading the way to the state's prominence in the world wine community. St. Michelle Wine Estates demonstrates a series of firsts. 
a pioneering spirit in our wine regions, a dedication to the land and quality wine, and an ongoing commitment to produce acclaimed wines from the world's most distinguished sites. Please welcome our wine enthusiast, wine star, man of the year, Ted Baszler. Good evening. Well, I will be brief. Uh, I think our little video showed most of the uh, terroir of Washington. But I want to thank Adam and the staff of the Wine Enthusiast uh, for this wonderful honor. Uh, it's absolutely terrific. I'm humbled by it. And what I see it as an endorsement for is what we've been doing for all these years. Back in the old days when you talk about Washington wine and people would say, which side of the Potomac do you grow the grapes on? <laughs> so going on 30 years, we have had the visions of Washington wines sitting at the table with the great wine regions of the world. And today, fortunately, critics take Washington wines seriously. We have had the advantage of being an underdog, and underdog status requires creativity, passion, belief, and hard work. Thanks to the fierce competition we all have in the wine business, uh, we expect complacency no time soon. The fine wine industry is magical, and all of us involved in it are very fortunate to be in a business where some days it's uh, inspiration and other days it's perspiration. However, this is a product category that has so much history, romance. It is an industry that comes from the earth. It has elegance and sustainability. Not only sustainably produced wines, but brands that are sustainable, that, test, that, that last the test of time, that are not fads. And the best example I can think of this is our partner Piero Antonori and proving that you can have great history and innovation at the same time. So thank you Piero for your inspiration. And I also want to thank the whole team, we have much of them here today that made St. Michelle what it is. Thank you for your dedication and hard work and everybody back at the wineries and the vineyards for your terrific efforts. And I'd also like to thank our new owners, Altria, that has been very supportive. And our excellent distributors, that in the old days, they sold a little Riesling. And now, of course, they sell a lot of everything from St. Michelle Wine Estates. And finally, to our great customers and many loyal consumers. But I would most of important like to thank my wife, Joanne, my daughter, Andrea, for putting up with my preoccupation this last 26 years. I only have 26 more to go in this business. But I want to thank uh, Adam again and the wine enthusiast for this uh, great honor. I appreciate it. And to all the friends here tonight, thank you and have a great 2010. Cheers.